when you go out, anything you do is photograph with these kids. I don't know how you don't lose your cool during that. I have lost my cool, unfortunately, a few times. Um, but I don't because of my kids. And I try. But what I'll do is I'll put them inside. I'll take them in and then come back out and give the guys a lecture and shit. These are kids. They're 13 years old. And they're like, yeah, yeah, okay. And then we come out. The, the, the lecture does no good anyway, right? Even right. though you lecture. No yeah. good. You're like, oh, good. Look, we can film this. You know, it's like more money. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and even the, the relationship now, I, I see you're, you're with Jennifer. That mm-hmm. even brings more attention to you. You've been through that scene where you're constantly in the tabloids. Was there hesitation on your part uh, because now you're a dad and you, you just like, fuck, I got to, uh, you know, if I'm with her, I get the two of us together. For some reason, the two of you together creates like a, a fucking a dynamic like I've never seen before in the history of man. Uh, was there hesitation on your part to say, just, you know, I can't go through this again. You know, uh, it crossed my mind for sure that. Well, look, my response to my children is the highest responsibility I have. So nothing, I didn't do anything that's that's painful or destructive to them if I can help it. That being said, you know, um, I know that my life affects them. I dropped my son off at school two days ago. And he's the only one who will kind of talk about he's nine years old and there's a bunch of the older boys out there doing some toy drive or something. And they heard him go, like, oh, Ben Affleck, Ben Affleck. And my kid looks at me and goes, hashtag welcome to my life. And gets out and goes into the, I was like, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. This is a pain in the ass. And he's gone, you know. But I've already inflicted that on them. You know, me and their mom are celebrities. And that's hard. Let's not bullshit each other, right? That's a fucking right. cross to bear. That's an albatross already. So I've, I've tried to live my life in a way that, and then, you know, they, during the divorce, they printed fucking horrible lies. Uh, horrible, mean. Like what? What were the lies? I don't even want to give voice to it because then goes, oh, they said this, they said that. Anything you read about that was bullshit. The truth was, we we took our time, we made the decision, we didn't want to show the kind of, we we grew apart, we had a marriage that didn't work. This happens. There's somebody I love and respect, but to whom I I shouldn't be married any longer. And we said, you know what? We don't want to, ultimately we, we tried, we tried, we tried because we had kids. And then we said, we don't, both of us felt like we don't want this to be the model that our kids see of marriage. I, right. I felt yeah. like we did it amicably. We did our best. Did we have moments of tension? Did we have disagreements over the custody? Was stuff difficult for us? Did we get angry? Yes. But fundamentally it was always underpinned with a respect. I knew she was a good mom. 